Okay. <clears throat> okay. We do this again. I'm gonna get close with my life. Okay. Okay. Okay, just gonna put this down. Hey everybody! Hey! It's us again. And we're it's, back. We're back. We're back. But not in black. No, we're black. Oh, we are black. Well, you're black. I'm not black. I'm more. I'm I'm Cablasian. Cablasian? Yeah. You know what What's Cablasian? Tiger Woods said he's like a combination of everything. Oh, he's like Asian, Blasian, and African. Ca Caucasian, Ca. Mm -hmm. Bla black. Asian. Cablasian. That's what he said. Something like that. I am made of pure duck fat. It makes all the difference. I believe that. I yes. am the infamous Mr. Brando. And I'm April BB. The wifey, my rib. <laughs> my, your barbecue rib? No. Not <laughs> my barbecue rib. rib. Not my rib. country style spare rib. She's so crazy, y'all. <laughs> but what are we going to talk about tonight? We oh! Power Miss Hour. BB. Power Hour. What the hell? Oh my God. There's a, there's a snitch among us. Not in here. There's a snitch among us. No, we not telling. Remember I told y'all last episode. Last I ain't got receipts for that. Wait. I said <laughs> I said uh stitches snitches catch stitches, man. And in ditches. Yes, and wind up in ditches because you was dropping down. So he the snitch of the crew. So if I had to pinpoint somebody, it's he gonna I don't have receipts that. for he that. Gonna run tell that. I'm going to tell it all because you know why? Go out, like, subscribe, hit the bell. <laughs> Look, Get your receipts for that. Oh, did you tell them about our Instagram? Nope, but I am now. Mr. and Mrs. J at Instagram, right? Um, We're going to leave the link below. Right, right, the right. Instagram abbreviated, and I think it's Mr. and Mrs. J. And okay. Just all together. And follow us. We go to games. We do things. We live life. We're just a couple. We're normal. We don't just mukbang every day. We'll see you in I don't mukbang every day. Y'all don't see me every day. And if you see me, I'm with him. But you might catch me ASMR very soon. Oh! Drop the knowledge, Miss BB. Boom. Hey, drop a clue bomb. I'm gonna drop the mic. Not too hard because it's expensive. But anyway. I'm hungry. Are you? What we got tonight? Okay, tonight is a Taco Bell McBong. Taco Chanel. So we do a thumbnail? Huh? Thumbnail? We gotta do a okay. thumbnail? We have like all kinds of treats. We have to pick up the whole plate, dude. We do. Oh, look. I pick it up. Ow. I got nachos. Bam. You see all that goodness? You see that look like a bunch of mess. It's, it's a, <laughs> look, I ain't going to tell you what she calls this. Shit mix. No. Ow. Taco Bell shout out. Oh, fo, fo. Don't do it no mo, mo, mo. What else do we get? We got tacos here. We got gorditas. We got nachos. We got burritos. We got a little bit of everything. My nachos looking short. Well, this is like, you know, how they do. Bay. I'm by myself. This is me. First of all, we represent the H, fo, fo, to the no mo, 396. Eight nine three, yeah, three nine six. Who's three nine six? Air code seven seven three nine six. That's a zip code. You said an area code. I said, well, I'm like, huh? I thought it was seven one three two eight one. I'm confused. Oh man. No ma'am, not me, not me, no ma'am. No I think that was a little cuckoo's bang bang right there. That I'm just being cream. real with you. We don't have no sour creamers. Okay. Okay, no cream. I'm sorry, I had to, I had to get some sour out cream. Of frame, out of frame, we got to have that cream. Mm -hmm. But we have so much to go over. Oh, my God. So we got to talk about. What is going on with your show? Oh, we got to talk about Tariq. Who is Tariq? Is Tariq, Tariq doing your ghost or what? What? I know last time I was clowning him, but you uh. know, this this episode opened up with him uh, looking at his, his, his homeboy that he got smoked, uh, Kanan. His best friend. On television, as the news go over the chain of events that happened that night, four police officers shot. And shot and dead? Yeah. But let us let me ask you a question, though. Kanan was real. a G. He took him out. Kanan could have killed him. I watched the episode. Kanan shot the cop, looked at Tariq, and it was like, I'm going to blast you, but I'm going to let you make it. You know, Kanan all the while has been in Ghostem's life. It's like he always looked out from a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Even his son, even in death. 
I think he had a relationship. He liked him like that, but I didn't like them showing the softer More side. More than Sean? Uh-huh. Because he even told him in the car, he was more like a son than my than Sean ever was. Mm. So I like Sean. But anyway, so they show um you know Kanan, R.I.P. Mm -hmm. R.I.P. Kane. On the TV screen and Tariq here, his mom and dad and them arguing, fussing and fighting. With about his well being, about his mental state. Like or he, just why like why would you risk our son for some little game plan? Right. And wind up not going right mm -hmm. or going as you saw fit. And so Tariq get up from his room because he's mm. like, oh, they're talking about me. They're talking about no, me. No, well, Tariq was watching the news, right. remember? And he was watching the news and he was like, well, he he muted it like he was hard in his room. He's watching his 50 inch, you know what I'm saying? And what I didn't understand was he got up and he was so like. Because he heard them arguing. So remember, he could hear their voices raising. They were yelling and shouting at each other. Right. Time. So he got up to see what they was talking about because he knew they were talking about him. And that's mm. why he interjected. But what is um, Tariq about? 15, 16 years old? No, I think he's like 17, 18, like on his way out. Of no, no, he's in high school, so he's like young, remember? But that's what I'm saying. He's about 17, 18 on his way out. Okay, well. Right? The, the, well, I think he's younger. I think he's like 15, maybe 14, 15. Because Brandon was 12, 13. I think they're two years apart. I'm just guessing. I don't they're know. They're twins. Oh, well, they're both probably 13, Remember, 14. Ray, Raymond came up to the school to smoke Tariq and smoked her instead because mm. she jumped bad. Dirty cops, you're right. Mm -hmm. So let's give them 14, 15, okay? Mm -hmm. So Tariq, in all of this, has never shown remorse for that killing. What did he do? He did? Do mm -hmm. you? Mm -hmm. When? Like, he was that? upset after it happened. And then he kind of blamed himself. And remember, his mom started using pills and all that other stuff mm -hmm. to like cope. And he was concerned about her, but she, she kind of lashed out on Tariq. You know what I mean? Like kind of like, like I killed the wrong one. Right, right, that part. And then remember when his birthday came up, they the cake said "Happy Birthday, Raina," not Tariq. Mm -hmm. The bakery made a mistake. I'm so, just saying, Tariq's had a messed up existence. I mean, on the cool. I mean, for real. If I'm going to really judge their relationships, Tariq is a stepchild. Um, he's lost in the world. He doesn't know what he wants to be. He wants to be I think ghost. he knows what he wants to be. He wants to be out there in the streets. But we're not there yet. I know. Okay. But they're not that far from it. But you said he don't know. But I I'm think saying, he knows. how do you know at 14 or 15 years old what you want to be? Well, now I think it's definitely he wants to be Kanan. Okay. So he wants to be Kanan Stark. Mm -hmm. But on top of that, Kane is dead. R.I.P. again. And um, he's been killed. Probably one of the most horrifically things. Now, in the Kane death, let's talk about your boy, uh, the light skin bro. Um, but you kind of going off. We were kind of following the episode, right? Or no? Well, no, I was backtracking to give him some foreshadowing, a little bit of history with this whole thing. So, like, we're, Kane and got killed, but old buddy. Had the head in his apartment. Yeah, that was last episode. Drake. I know. So Drake is up for like Dre. A, Dre. I'm sorry. Dre is up for like a murder. He's got a head in his apartment. The State Department's coming down on him. Treasury's coming down on him. Everybody's coming after him. But we're gonna get touch on that later again. Okay. Well then, I'm, I'm gonna let you do your thing. So okay. So uh, we're back in the, in the living room scene, mm -hmm. and Tariq says something very profound. He was like, I care. I was the only person that actually cared about Kanan. Word. And he was like, I took an L so y'all could win. Hmm. Ghost looked that at him. Profound. Ghost looked at him like, what the hell you just say, boy? Hmm. And he's like, you heard me. It's very funny how this family dynamic is so much like the Italian family dynamic, but it's like unspoken. You know what I mean? It's like without well, words. Here's the thing, where Tasha and Ghost went wrong was not being honest from the beginning of mm -hmm. who they were and where they came from. Mm -hmm. So their kids lived this charmed life until stuff started happening. Mm -hmm. And so now, I, I feel like Tariq resents them for that. Because it's like, I've been mm -hmm. walking around for 15 years as somebody or something, 
that I don't know trying to fit in someplace that I shouldn't be. So who's right and who's wrong? Do you expose your child to your drug dealing, um, criminal behavior that you live when you were younger, trying to get out the game? Or do you be honest with your kid and tell them this is who I am and let the cards unfold though? Well, they may. Well, I think every parent wants better for their child. Always. So I can't say that Tasha and Ghost are wrong. Right. Because, you know, most parents, when you have a child, you want them to strive to, to be better than you. So mm -hmm. Ghost was a hood, you know, a, a gangster a rat. from the, mm -hmm. not a rat, but a gangster from the street. Mm -hmm. So I, I can't, I can't fault him for that, but... It's come back to bite them in the butt because you have your family surrounded by all these bad elements. You can't skip your past. Well, they're right there in your present, too. Right. Tommy is a killer. Mm. Ghost is a killer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Tasha is conniving and manipulating. So, mm. you here's that family dynamic. Uncle mm -hmm. Tommy, mm -hmm. Ghost, your mm -hmm. dad, mm -hmm. and Tasha, your mom. How are you going to escape? And who do you identify with? Exactly. So now, because the only person that was really 100 with him was Kanan, right. he has now aligned his way of thinking with him. Because he's like, this man, all he did was keep it real with me. Because he right. even told him, he's like, you know, well, what about Sean? Like, you killed Sean. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's your son. Mm -hmm. And he was just like, well, you know, it, he was different than you, basically. Tell Word him. bond, right? So I'm just like, okay. So you go back to that scene. There's the exchange between Ghost and Tariq. Mm -hmm. And Tariq storms off to his room. Right. So now, Ghost is like, oh, I'm going to take you back to that boarding school. Take you to that train station so you can take your butt back to that private school that I pay a lot of money for. Right. And Privilege. Tar what Tariq say to him? Teach me the game, Ghost. Teach yeah. me that. Teach me the MF and game. Ghost. He said, just because you in a suit. That don't change who you are, just like me going to this school. Don't I, change I am who I am, right? Who I am, yeah. He's like, teach me the the game. So And Ghost was kind of like, you, I will kill you before I allow that to happen. For real, though. I mean, how do you allow yourself to get caught up in that? Like, if you're a ghost. I mean, for real. Like, your son, is he's been involved in, like, two murders now. Remember? Dirty cop. Now, this dude... He three, his sister, the dirty cop, now Canaan. I mean, but it's Tariq, not even even about allow anymore. You think? But death follows you. You know what I'm saying? Like you're the Grim Reaper. Like what do you mean, Ghost or Tariq? No, no, Tariq. Like Tariq is like Tommy in that sense. Death follows him. So you thinking Tariq gonna get killed? I'm just saying, how many lives does that man have? It ain't about his life. Everybody around him gets smoked. Exactly. So, I mean, if I got nine lives. But you got nine lives, not not. So if you align yourself with somebody that's always bringing trouble, bringing heat and bullets at you. You got to worry about about yourself, not that person. Well, because Tariq is coming out clean as a whistle. He alive. His well, but he has ghosts and Tasha protecting him. Well, they're not always there to protect him. But my point is, they weren't at that school mm -hmm. when Raymond showed up. That well, bullet wasn't meant for Raymond. Mm -hmm. That was meant for Tariq. He well, missed that one, right? Eating the and, what is that? A burrito. We got a burrito? Yeah, you want to split it? Oh, you got a burrito? You got a burrito. Here, I'll show you. Oh. I feel like this. The funny thing about food and when you share it with family is you don't mind sharing because every day is an adventure. Oh, and, I guess what did get a burrito. You did that. But <clears throat> what I'm saying is Tariq is bad news. Tariq is bad for everybody's news. I'm, what I'm saying is, if you hang out with Tariq, you'll probably be the one to get the bullet, not Tariq. Because I've been wanting Tariq to go for it. You want Tariq to go? Yeah. I think Tariq, I Tariq makes the show more interesting. Tariq is Kanan times two. No. You don't like that? No? There's no beef. Where's the beef? Mm. There's no beef. Mm. Look. It's rice and some darn corn chips. Yeah. Yeah. Taco Bell should be a salmon day so. Hey, Taco Talk Bell. About, this was supposed to be a beefy, <clears throat> some type of burrito or something. I'm over this one. Fix your damn food. This is terrible. 
I'm going to the gordita. You leave him. Yeah, that's a wrap. That's I'm not eating that. That's allbad.com. Mm -mm. Y'all, y'all gotta do better. But Taco Bell, you get F for that. But back to what I was saying mm -hmm. was, everybody that aligned themselves with Tariq, something wind up happening to. Yeah, Tariq is like. He's, he's a like a guy. bad news on a bad day when it's raining. <laughs> Why is this dude walking around New York like he's the king of New York? Well, he kind of feel that way because I guess he, he hasn't caught an L yet. But okay, so Ghost think he's going to get on the train. Huh. This little dude wait a few minutes and come right back out the door after he knows his daddy <laughs> gone. I'm like, boy, mm. I can't even say what I want to say. Mm. But okay, okay, I'm going to let you make it. And then it's like, like I said, every time you turn around, Tariq misses an L. Dude, he ain't caught no L yet. I mean, you can say Raina was an L because they're the twins. But he's alive and she is. Yeah, but I think in some ways that he feels somewhat guilty for that. Like, he wanted to go out in a blaze of glory like his daddy. He's a gangster. I'm a gangster. He have a hard way of showing it. Mm. He honestly is like cat on nine tails. He's never caught any bad dealings. But this is the funny thing that got me. And he always scary. So, like, he was in the back of that cop car. He was about to shit on his tail. <laughs> like, he had that mix. Taco Bell. Terrible burrito. Or, like, he had those cools. Man, shout out to those cuckoos, man. You shouting them out? Yes. If you're bloated or you need to let go, call those cuckoos and they will make sure your bowels are free. Those cuckoos. We ate that How and it was for it? Los cuckoos? C U C U S. Cuckoos. Mm -mm. I spelled they, it wrong. They ain't going to find that place, but it's okay. It's horrible. <laughs> Don't ever eat there. It's okay. Mmm. <laughs> But, getting back to the story. So, real talk. What was the last thing we said? The bus station. Okay, so he left the bus station. Only to go holler at the Italians, Vincent. Mm. Now, mm. I don't know about you. Mm-hmm. But if I was Vincent, my antennas would go up. Well, I think it did. First of all, this little black kid speaking Italian with Kenny like last week. Mm -hmm. Told me you can trust him and this and this. And then now you're talking about, I got some work. And I don't know how this is going to go. But well, in between love. that, what you missing? So he shows up with Kane, right? Mm -hmm. The kids speak Italian. Mm -hmm. And he tells them you can trust him, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. What happened after they left there? Kane got whacked. That part. So now this little kid come back with weight, mm -hmm. wanting to move. Talking about, I can move the pills. I need you to move the rest. Mm. That sounds suspect. And Vincent said what? We going to see how this goes. He's going to get your ass home. Take your ass home, little boy. Take your ass home because no, I know your he pants are No, he said he did say he would help him out. He going to move that weight. But he also said, get your ass gone because I know your parents looking for you. Right, right. right. Then Tariq said, well, I need one more favor. And now I'm like, what little kid say all that to... Come on now. There we go. What little kid say all that? Like, that's why I'm like, this little kid kind of sharp. I would have said that if I was Vincent. Oh, I need a fake ID. I wasn't thinking like that. No, I was thinking, I want a piece. Because he a gangster. But that ain't what Tariq asked for. No, he didn't because remember, he has access to guns. Mm -hmm. We know that from his mom. Right, he was going in his face. He got the gun last time. Sure did. To blast off. Uh, Raymond. Hmm. So he can get a hold of some, some, something. You know what I mean? So, but not nothing clean. Either way, he can uh -huh. get a hold of something. Is my point. Sorry. Okay. He asked that dude, not just for any ID, but a he fake. wanted a fake ID that said Eric Stark. No, no, he didn't tell him that. He went down there, and we find out at the end of the show. He didn't tell him that, but what I'm saying to you, Vincent knew because you got to tell him what you want, right? Right. We don't see that on TV. What's the name you're going to tell him when you go down there? What? I, but what I'm saying is Vincent hooked him up with his people. Well, and Vincent, and, and and Vincent that, boy, that, the that boy got him an ID. And my point is, 
And he got that boy's remains. Okay. Back up before you go there. Okay. You come back to the Italians mm -hmm. that you showed up there with with Canaan. Right. You know Italian. You say you could trust them. Come back after Canaan gets smoked. Right. And say, I need you to move some weight. Right. And now you asking for this dead man's last name. Interesting. Who did? My question. He didn't, he didn't know for hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My question would have been, who the hell are you, kid? Who's your parents? Who raised you? Well, he knows that Ghost is dead. No, he don't. He mm. don't. He don't know that. He don't? No. That's the part you're missing. Because mm. after that, because remember, and we're going to talk about this later, mm -hmm. him and Ghost are not friends. Okay? They're not friendlies. Right. So, because Canaan made him believe that Ghost set him up. Yeah, to get hit, remember? So, once again, I go back to, they yeah. did not once ask, who's your pappy? Who the pappy? Who the pappy? Vincent, at that point, babe, if it was me and you, you know what I said? Vincent. Vincent? Yeah, I'm Vincent right now. I'm being Vincent. Oh. I'm, I'm Vincent. I just said Vincent. If you're being Vincent, why are you saying Because well, I said myself. Vincent. Oh, okay. Tariq, I need some receipts. I need some receipts about who your pappy is. Is that right, babe? The receipts about who his pappy is? I guess, kind of. It's kind of used. Kinda well, okay, weird. what's the other one you taught me? The receipts is really Hold used on, what's the other one you taught me? You taught me another one. The receipts is something else. But the receipts is used with tea, not... This is the tea. This is not the tea. This is not this the is Earl gossip. Grey. This is, no. This we're, is we're, the truth? Yeah, we're going over an episode. Like live at nine? This is a recap. Totally different than... Tea. Tea. Mm -hmm. Tea is gossip. Tea is factual, or we think it's facts. About famous people, but this is like a fictional character. So you can't get tea with factual. No, no. I didn't know that. So what I was saying was I didn't know y'all. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get my tea and my receipts together. Vincent? Yeah. Should have been smarter than that. But is Vincent that smart? He think he is. Vincent, you're not that smart. I'm just telling you that. You look kind of stupid. So, okay. Why would you take drugs from like a 14-year-old boy in a bar in the middle of the day? Why are you doing business with some kid that was following Kanan around who's now dead? On the news! All over the news! But he know Kanan dead. But he's on the news. The death is on the news. Mm -hmm. He killed four cops. Mm -hmm. Kanan's a jeep. I said power was the worst show on TV. Totally take that back. Power tonight redeemed itself. Times two. So now, tell me to go back to Keisha. And she feels in some kind of way because she was used. I like Keisha. She feels in some kind of way because she was used in the death of Canaan. Yeah, but she was so used by Tasha. The, the whole thing has come full circle. And now she's telling Tommy, like, mm -hmm. I did this, but I didn't know the outcome. And Tasha used me. To basically get Kane and killed. Right. And Tommy's like, well, yeah, we had to do it for the family. And she was like, I got my own family. Like, I'm tired of doing this for the family. We're family. not supposed to be doing this no more. Remember she said that. We're not supposed to be messing with them no Well, more. she said that, that she got the shop. She got her own child. Mm -hmm. But, okay, the caveat to that is, but I'll, but I'll do it for you, Tommy. Tommy. So she's being a sucker for love. Man, and Tommy sprung off the look. I'm the sorry, water. Tommy, not somebody you want to love because then you wind up like Holly did. But hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You could love Tommy, but from afar, his mama. I'm just saying, mama not dead, mama living, mama tooting. We gonna plenty get some. of pounds of coke. Well, let me exchange change that. Well, let me digress. Don't sleep with Tommy because you're gonna wind up dead. But anyway. Molly, Holly, Molly, Holly, Stephanie, your average white girl with red hair. I'm just saying. If Tommy touch you, you're going to die. So, um, well, the thing about Holly is she reminded him, I think, a lot of his mother. You know what I mean? Like, she looked the part of the mother. Like she a had younger, the red a hair. younger yeah. version. And she had ways like her. The drugs and stuff? The drugs, all that. And... The disloyalty, because his mama ain't loyal. Kate, Kate Egan ain't loyal. 
You know what Tommy's problem is? Tommy's like an old junkyard dog. You could kick Tommy, do bad to Tommy. Tommy will still protect the damn junkyard no matter what. Well, he's loyal. He's loyal to I a fault. I love his loyalty, but it gets in the way sometimes. Because damn of his judgment. Like, it, damn, It blinds son. him. It blinds him. Baby, I'm going to. Mm, I ain't eating that. That's a taco? You can mm. have it. Mm. But, but he, the thing is, if Tommy really is believing you and consider you a friend and ride for you, he got you. And you could be as slithery as a snake. Terrible. He don't see it. And that's the thing, being loyal sometimes when you're too loyal. Because Think about I, your friendships. I mean, I'm being real. Mm -hmm. Think about your own people. Like, you be real. You keep it 100 with somebody. And then all of a sudden you look up and you're like, well, I need this from you. I, I got this expectation. And they're like, well, I don't have you like that. That's like Tommy with everybody. Mm hmm you know what I'm saying? Like, well, but that's the thing. Thank you. I'm so oily. No, you're not oily. You're hot, man. You're, yes. you're all your stuff. You're Ooh. all your stuff. That Taco Bell, they gave me fire sauce. Fiery. That's She's all they hot. had. Hot. Mucha can add to it. But the Mi thing with Tommy is... The thing with Tommy is... His loyalty clouds his judgment. Word. And so... Yeah. That I remember, I just wanted Holly dead that season because I'm like, she ain't no good. She up against ghosts. She doing this. She's stealing out of ghost's house. It was the earrings. Just, the earrings. It was just too much. Too much. <coughs> and she's a waitress. Well, she he found her in jail. <coughs> you all right? You gonna make it? Nah. Nah. Mister Brando. Sorry. You took a slug in the chest or something off the pad. That 38. It, it came. That the 38 side. snub. You it saw came, it. Hold on. Hold on. Don't, what are you doing? Don't tell him the scene. Don't tell him we ain't even made it there yet. We got to make it there. But once again, Tommy, I love his character. Love, love, love his character. But his judgment is so clouded by his loyalty. You know what Tommy reminds me of? Hmm. What's that song where Drake says, Yeah, I'm off the CC and I'm off the Hennessy and you know your girl Compton said. You know the shit ain't free. That's all. Cause Tommy not on the CC no more. Tommy what's CC? Cocaine, girl. I'm the square. Oh, okay. cocaine. Mm -hmm. And uh, he not drinking like he was. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So he's getting cleaner. He's with Lala. Well, but his like, he's in this dark, dark place in his life. Mm, he keeps going back to these dark places. Cause the, the way Tommy loves, the way he shows up is so hard. You but you, I mean? I mean, don't you love that? I love that hard. I love you that hard. I love hard, but I, I no, you also, don't. No, but you wait don't. a minute. Hold on. Hold on. No, hold on. Mm -mm. Not like Tommy's love. You hard. I'm not saying it to be like throwing daggers either. I'm saying like I've this. been where Tommy is and got burnt, so you learn what? from your mistakes. That's the T I'm talking about. That right? you learn from your mistakes. If you don't, you gotta have balance. He got ADD, y'all. I'm sorry. He always off track. Then he throw me off track. I'm like Geraldo Rivera right now. I'm bringing it out of you, babe. Go ahead. Just but no, me. you can keep getting burned, keep getting burned, keep getting burned. What's your lesson out of it? Don't get burned. That's all. So if you keep picking the same kind of person and it keep happening because you you don't have uh, levels to your love, uh, you're gonna always find yourself rock bottom. Where's your where's your safety net? Is that like you asked me how that worked out for you? I'm not gonna use that anymore. That's you and Pat's words. <laughs> Shout you're not Pat. getting me caught up. Shout out Pat. But no, so I think, I'm in a real with you though. I'm in a real I think the thing with Tommy is. Tommy wants love. He wants to be loved. He needs and a puppy. And he needs, he Remember, had one. Remember? What happened to the puppy? I think he shot it. He shot the puppy? Because it came from Holly, if I'm not mistaken. But here's the... Shout out to Daisy. I love Daisy. You don't love Daisy yeah. like I do. But... I feed Daisy. Shout out to Daisy. One day, pup, pup, you'll understand. We're going to be on the camera. We're going to include you in the video. I'm not even making your own channel, Daisy. I love you like that because you're a We are so pup, off pup. from power. But we're talking about Daisy. It, it, we're supposed to be talking about power. 
You went from Tommy to Daisy to Dog. This is the same. Daisy's loyal like Tommy. Oh. Daisy's my Tommy. Oh, I wish she would show up and start shooting people for you. Daisy will bite you in your ass. Mess with me. She'll bite you too. That's no, Daisy will not bite me. Oh, I, I remember being on the phone with him and he reached under the bed. What'd she do? And you like, you little bitch. Oh. If you have personal space, personal <laughs> space, personal space, okay, the under the bed is her personal space. I was trying to find the remote, and I couldn't find it, and Daisy got upset. And you know what? I don't blame her. She's a pup pup. She's a little puppy. He said, the bitch tried to bite me. No, she tried to nip at me. There's a difference. That's what you said to me over the phone. Well, I was upset. And I was busting up laughing. Oh, yeah. You laughed at my pain. You laughed at my pain. She cusses him out. One of these days, I got to record it so y'all can hear. Because she cussing out like, boy, where you been? Who you been with? You know I'm over here. I've been waiting for you. Like in doggy language. That's what she's saying to him. Oh, yeah. And I sit there and bust up laughing. All she says is, daddy, I love you, daddy. You're so nice to me, daddy. I just miss you, daddy. And, oh, our love is so beautiful. Back to power. Okay. So, Proctor. Oh. Proctor. Let's talk that about little Proctor. ass rant. I don't like Proctor. I'm being real. Why don't you like Proctor? Because he's like a little snaky, little sleazy, little jerk. He's, he's not real. Proctor's solid. But who he's not going to be solid to is Angela and I Tommy. Mean, I don't blame on the Angela tip. Angela's and, and Tommy, snake. because Tommy is like a dog off the leash, and he knows it. I like Tommy's. I mean, I'm just being real with you. I'd rather have a hundred Tommies than one Angela. I love Tommy. You, I told you guys, you know, when I ran into him, how I acted like a little girl. But anyway, um, no, but back to Proctor. See, here's the thing. Proctor lost his license to practice law. Got it back. Not once did he rat on Ghost. Because I truly feel like he aligns himself with Ghost. The problem with Tommy is Tommy... Tommy don't try to build relationships. He tries to... It's a business. No, no. He tries to evoke fear. And that's the thing. He put that fear in the Proctor, and Proctor don't see past that. Well, I think that Tommy, coming from that element, doesn't see lawyers or the establishment or the people that are involved in that as his ally. They're all against him. And I see... I understand his point with that. Like, I don't look at certain things invoked in the criminal justice system as just us. I look at the criminal justice system and just say, it's just us. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I think Tommy like, help me do this or do that. Proctor, I mean, on my body. But in essence, Proctor's here to help Proctor. And Tommy never really embraced Proctor like Ghost did because Ghost had a relationship with Proctor. But he's built a relationship with Proctor. Yeah, for years, they said. For years. But I mean, just period, in general. <clears throat> they build relationships. So look at how Ghost operates. Ghost definitely have more people that will align with him because they don't... Even the Italians. Right, because because the way he conducts his business. Right. There, you have to have a sense of leadership. Mm -hmm. And with Tommy, Tommy is reckless. Tommy will bet. Let me tell you, you owe Tommy some money. He gonna remember that episode where he backed over the people that that do in his car. But if you owe me a dollar, don't give me fifty cents. It's not about that. It's how you do it. But I'm just saying to you. Okay, I'm, I agree. I'm, with, I'm, I'm going not back to Proctor. So Proctor's a suit. Right? Okay, I'll get you. I get and you. I get you got to deal with suits a certain kind of way. Right. You, if you invoke that fear in him, you might have a Terry Silverman. Where he just took off and left. That and rat said, bastard. That's why Ghost did what he did. Because he knew how he would respond. Ghost, kill Terry Silverman next. Because he slept with his wife. So Everybody he banged her. Knew he, I think Daisy banged her too. So he already knew that. No condom. He already knew that how. Straight. ADD. He need the real one, y'all. So back to Proctor. Proctor's relationship is really with ghosts. He don't care for Angela, and he don't care for Tommy. Do so, you care for Angela? So now Proctor is being strong-armed by the feds to snitch and wear a wire. Do you care for Angela? All I love is my bed and my mama. I'm sorry. So Proctor has to, to basically wear a wire when he meets up with ghosts. Okay? So then, 
I kind of knew that Proctor would probably tip off Ghost, didn't you? I saw it coming, but I'm glad he did it in the open. The way he did it, like... See, I felt like I felt like we actually, the people, were not going to be able to see it, right? I thought, because he I kept saying, okay, well, where's my paperwork? Where's this? Where's that? Proctor said that. But no, bed. Proctor told him that because he wanted the proxy. So when he went in there, remember, he said, I'm going to keep this because the deal was. Right. No matter what he says or what I doesn't say, right, right. I'm off. This right. is over after this right. moment right here. And so that's what I'm saying. He made sure everything was in place. But I felt like behind the scenes, because there are episodes of power where we don't see the outcome, right? Right, right, And I right. felt like he was going to, like, pick up the phone or do something to tip off Ghost. It was something was going to happen, but I knew he was going to tip off Ghost because, once again, he don't like, Parker don't like Angela, and he don't like Tommy. Tommy nope. So when he goes up to Truth and meets with Ghost, mm -hmm. sure enough, he pull out that napkin and say, he right on there, I'm wearing a wire. Now, Ghost's reaction, because he don't like snitches, and I get it, he wanted to instantly, you could see the anger in his face, he wanted to kill Proctor. He didn't throw him off the balcony. He almost did throw him off the balcony. But the smart thing was Proctor asked him questions in a certain kind of way. Mm -hmm. So he's like, okay, these are the questions they won't answer. Answer them and answer them, you know, dishonest. Basically, make sure you don't get caught up. Or your version of the truth. Your version. So he held up that paper. And I'm Arnie, it. Arnie, Arnie. Hold on, hold on. Your version of the truth in truth. Mm -hmm. I just picked that up. Okay. You know what I mean? I see it. That's cool. But the other thing was, um, I'm trying to make me lose my thought. Sorry. The other thing was, there's a, there's a thing about working at, or protecting your client. So him making that conversation up in the very beginning saying you didn't pay me, right? I'm not retained. Uh, you know, I'm not I don't attorney, have attorney. Attorney. So then that attorney client privilege, client privilege right, is no is longer. In place. Right, right, right. Ghost could have handed him a dollar and then he's like, and oh, no. you're retained. Yeah. And but then I think the thing that Ghost said that really touched um Proctor was we're like family. Like you've always looked out for me. He kind of said that in the beginning, and then that's when Proctor whipped out that no bam, I got a wire on. I got a wire, y'all. And then once he finished everything, once Ghost finished all the line of questionings, he rips the wire out, like disconnects it, but then Ghost go ham on Proctor about to throw him over the balcony. Do we not not do we not know if there's a double wire tap? Because they do that with like in, like special enforcement. There's they'll no wiretap the building and then they'll wiretap the person. Because if that's the case, everything else would have been captured. Well, I'm just saying, yeah, remember, I know that. Remember, if you go back to season two, the building, truth was wired. That's what I'm going back to. But that, we knew that then, right? Right. Because they went in his office, they confiscated stuff. There was a double right. set of books. There was all that. Dre is supposed to be running truth. Not ghosts. But remember... Dre got caught up. But Dre, isn't Dre at the 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 the, the European club now? I don't know. I, see, that's why I got confused. I thought Dre was running truth. No. Then, no, Dre is not running truth. Dre is running the competition. Okay. The the, the okay. European guys' club, remember? Okay. Mm -hmm. And now truth is back with James. Now, this is where I got messed up in the whole thing. So remember when Proctor went to go see uh Ghost and he was sitting there and he said, No, I want to sit out here in the open. And Ghost was like, Why? We have an office right back here. And Ghost didn't insist on him going back where he knew he was safe. That's showing a vulnerability to me with Ghost because I was like, Why are you trusting this dude knowing everything he's about? Who? Proctor. Because Proctor, I, I know everything he's about. Well, yeah, because Proctor's not on the up and up. He hasn't been on the up and up about certain shit with Ghost. And Ghost well, knew would. that. Well, like he knew about um uh, the murder, he knew about other what things. What murder? The, the, the informant that they killed, Tommy didn't kill. He, I mean, Ghost knows about that. Like, But but that's not Proctor's fault. That's Tommy's fault. So I don't understand what you mean by it. Red flag, red flag. We've already like had instances where things weren't normal. And now you're trying to make it seem like... Let me do it like this. That, me and you film here every time we film, right? But I'm trying to stay on track with No, that. I am. Let me think of my thought. Me and you film every time we're filming right here, right? Mm-hmm. So if I tell you I want to film over there, 
And you're like, why? And I'm like, mm, I don't know. But I don't. Let's go there. Okay. But when you I, think something's odd. I don't understand why you said that Proctor's not forthcoming because he has been. Well, I mean, I guess I just feel like there's Proctor a, lost his license. But not due to James. I mean, he yeah, lost it. No, he lost his license because of uns- Silverman. Right. Which unscrupulous is- business practices was not related to James. Now, they held James over his head, and that's why he didn't get it back. But you James know why they was brought in Silverman, right? Well, I know why they brought Wait, wait, let's go back. You know why they brought in Silverman? Why? Silverman, the guy, that was the, 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 the guy with the tapes, right? No, the black guy that slept with Tasha. Yeah, because he testified in the court and saying that uh, he was a bad attorney. He did unfair things. He's he a bad guy. Who was a bad guy? That Proctor was bad. Okay. So remember, Proctor didn't do nothing wrong. Well, but he did. But it, he it was to protect his client. Yeah, but I mean, if you're a liar, you're a liar. But, I mean, but okay, hold on. Who's hiring? Who are you working for? Think about that. He's protecting his boss. Okay, but but he is. But I mean, babe, mm-hmm. the question then at that point because See, is I, it lying if it's the truth? And if I'm protecting you, you know, lawyers lie, right? All attorneys. Oh lie. no, liar, lawyers ask always. Your, ask your attorney. No, all, all, all the time. Hold on, hold oh, on. I'm in traffic. <laughs> oh, he come into court with his hair laid like James Brown from back in the seventies. All lawyers try <laughs> to uphold the utmost standard of. I'm just turning towards you. What? Of the law, and I'm not going to blame or enhance the situation by saying that my attorney was not less than scrupulous in his practice. But what I am going to say is if that motherfucker's late one more time, I'm going to slap the moose out of his hair. He's just going to cancel him. But what, what I'm saying is... Don't throw slugs. What I'm saying is... Proctor's loyalty is to ghosts. No, Proctor's lawyer is a Proctor. Proctor wants of to be course. free. And Proctor wants to walk away free. Proctor's lawyer is not to ghost. Proctor's loyalty is to walk away and not be killed so his daughter gets raised, not by a crackhead mother. That's where Proctor's loyalty is. And I'm not mad at Proctor for that. But if you can't put lipstick on a pig and call it a fucking beauty Well, I mean, queen. if that's the case, everybody's loyalty is to themselves. Of course! There's no... You're in the game. You're in a drug world. There's no... You're good and I'm good and we're the good together. No, that's no, bullshit. But I'm talking about if you had to pick somebody, Proctor is aligned with Ghost. He's not aligned with Tommy. He's not oh, I would agree. I would agree with that 100. percent He's not trying to work for the. But feds. but Proctor's main objective is to be getting free. off, be free, and work again as a lawyer to support his daughter. Of course, it's but, not to protect Ghost. But you know he's never going to get past Ghost, right? Well, he's just like his only client. Right. That's my point. He pays him enough. He's not going to have anybody else unless they're in the drug cartel. I mean, think about that. Well, he's not going to hire... What's her name? Alicia? What's her name? The one whose brother got killed. I don't know who that is. No, there's Alicia... The the Jimenez. The Jimenez. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. She can't hire Proctor. Mm -mm. But that's on the the opposite side. But it isn't. She's a criminal. James is a criminal. No, no, but that's they're, they're on different sides. So that's like her, him working for the Italians. That's not ah. Happen. Now we're bringing up the double standard with Proctor got caught up in before when he represented Tommy and he represented Ghost. But he's done it before. So why would it be beyond him to do it now? Well, Tommy and Ghost are on the same team. Well, it has nothing to do with teams because we're not going to no, prove because, criminal okay. enterprise. So, no, no, but no, it is because the people that remember, and we haven't even got to this part yet. Ghost goes and meets with the Italians. They don't like Ghost. Well, so they suspect saying, Ghost. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. They on. suspect Ghost based on. Let me finish. Because you're going on another tangent. No, I'm not. I'm going to finish I'm the trying spot. to finish about the attorney. Then finish. The attorney is not going to work for the Italians. The attorney is not going to work for them in this. They're going to only work for James and his people. As long as it's on, on that side of the house. They're never going to cross and switch over. Okay, but my point is, if they run across a green sheet in the county jail, and if you've been to county jail, you know there's a green sheet, and you're looking for lawyers to hire, and they see Proctor, I'm cheap, beat him deep, they might call him. You can't have a Rolex if you can't afford it. Baby, there's fake Rolexes But also, also, they're not going to call, Proctor's not going to accept that. But we don't know that. Well, we'll see. No, we will see. And that's the best part. Mm-hmm. Now, the part that I'm making to you is, is that, so, oh, Alicia's up for jail. I guess her name's Alicia Jimenez, the, the, the sister. The brother's head's in Dre's fridge at the Bohemian Club. 
They need a lawyer. Proctor's loyal. He's not gonna work for Dre. Well, we know that. But well, we'll see what happens next. But that doesn't. Make well, sense. I don't see him intertwining. But what I'm saying is, Terry would go work for them before that. Oh, that sleazy bastard! He's a f- idiot. So he's okay. a sleaze ball. So then, what happens next? So we've got all these twists and turns. There were so many in this one. You can't mm-hmm. cover them all in an hour. I'm mean, serious. I'm like, mm-hmm. there was so. This was the best episode of Power I've seen in two years. Okay. You didn't think so? It was good. It's kind of like asking in the morning about 7.30, hey, babe, how you doing? What's your typical answer? I'm okay. Just like Tommy's answer in that car, but we'll get to that in a minute. I'm good. I'm okay. I'm okay. It's That's good. what he told his daddy. I'm okay. Before he killed And I'm your daddy, and you tell me all the time. I'm okay. Before I kill you. <laughs> I have it on tape. I have it on tape. If I don't come back... To this moment tomorrow. Oh, you're aggressive. Thumbnail. You're aggressive. You're thumbnail. <laughs> you're aggressive. You're That's aggressive. A new <laughs> you're aggressive. I don't like hey, that. Hey, it's power hour. Come on now. That's Not the, dead. I got, I got the Mr. Tommy spirit. Hour. I got the Tommy spirit in me. But okay. So my I'm, fans will be sad if I die. Daisy. Um. So. And one. Let's get to Teresi. Tony Teresi, the snitch. That scumbag. The feds are putting on the pressure. We need you to talk. We need Tommy by this weekend. He tell him, all right, all right, all right, all right. His right-hand man, Sam. Mm. Sam felt something was wrong. But Sam has never liked Tommy. Well, yeah, I get it. he said he's a loose cannon. He's yeah. always said he's a loose cannon. But he liked the money. He bring heat to the organization. And he thought so, Tommy snitched about the pipeline. Well, the thing is... The guards are dead. Tommy was saying, like, that's my way. Why would I snitch on myself? And it makes sense. Like, this whole episode, is a, there's a snitch among us, right? So they're having this conversation. Teresi, Tommy, and Sam. And Sam's like, since this kid been in our life, we've had so many issues, so many problems. Setbacks. Set major setbacks, and he's a loose cannon. Mm-hmm. And Tarini is like, ah, you know, it's nothing, it's nothing. And then Tommy's like, hey, you'll probably the snitch. You want to talk about somebody? It's probably your ass. Damn so it. they kind of go at it for a minute. I think Tommy leaves, right? Mm-hmm. The and first then, time. and then basically, Teresi and him are having a drink Sam, and a sandwich. Sam and Teresi are discussing what's going to happen next. And basically, Sam is like, we got to kill the kid, meaning Tommy. No, no, no. What he said was, he knew that Teresi was working the Fed, remember? Okay. And he said, what he said was, you need to turn him over to the Fed. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Okay, but here's my whole point to that. So me and you are doing a criminal enterprise right now, okay? You're a CI, confidential informant, if you don't know what that is. And you're a CI, and I know you're a CI. Why would I tell you that you need to turn this guy in? If you're, a, if you're a snitch, you're a snitch for everybody. I mean, I hear you. How would you trust him? Well, and here's the thing. They had a lifelong relationship. But he tells him, well, he tells him later that, you know, 25 years, I don't know you that well. But that's later. We'll get that, that is later. later. We'll get to that in a second. But, you know, I look at Teresi and Sam's relationship. It's equivalent to Ghost and Tommy. So they've done a lot of dirt together over the years. Made a lot of money. And... You know, I guess Teresi confided in him that, hey, he turned informant to get out of prison. So he's like, all right, well, let's give up the kid. Let's give up Tommy. Teresi agrees, but he but still Tommy has Tommy really a... wants to give up Ghost because Teresi doesn't really like Ghost. He's really... Who so... wants to give up Ghost? Teresi. Teresi wants to give up Ghost. Teresi doesn't really want to give up Tommy. But we haven't got to that part yet. Oh, well, I'm sorry. So... Then he has he has a phone call come in, right? And so I guess he left Sam in the living room or in the kitchen area. No, he, Sam came in the place. But he but he was on the phone by himself. Right. First, he right? thought he was, remember? Right. So Two that's, phones. What I, that's what I'm saying. So remember, they're Shout at the Kevin table. Me. They're at the table together having this conversation. Right. Teresi leaves to take a phone call. No, 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 no. Babe, what happened was this happened later. 
Teresi was in the kitchen by himself. The conversation was, I'm going to give up Tommy, right? Because remember, Teresi's like, I don't like Tommy, I don't like Tommy, I don't like Tommy. Wait, 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 I'm sorry. Remember, Teresi... Sam told, and Teresi were face-to-face at right, a table. Right, And he said, I'm going to give up Tommy. Right, okay. but he says, I'm going to give up Tommy, but what and I'm goes. saying was, what I was saying was, Somewhere along the line, we don't see it. Right. No, 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 no. No, we don't. We don't. We don't. We don't. We don't. don't. They're still in Teresi's house. Teresi got up to take a phone call to to, to the feds, right? right? You're right. He thinks he's in the room by himself. Right, right, right. And he's saying, yeah, uh, James Patrick, yeah, he did it. He's ghost. He's ghost. He's ghost. He's ghost. He's ghost. And what did did the Asian guy say? Well, tell us something we don't know. Right. And then he's like, well, tell us, well, Tom, what about Tommy Egan? Tommy Egan had nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it. And so Sam in the cut in the background, you see him creeping up, listening, ear hustling. And then he gets off the phone and ends the call and he turns around. There goes Sammy boy. He's like, that's not what we agreed on. That's not what you're supposed to do. You were supposed to give up Tommy. Remember that? Bingo. That's when all hell fire break loose. And where did Tommy come from? Tommy walk in the house. I guess he's like, this is my dad's house. I can come and go as I please. I ain't got a knock. Nothing. So them two going at it in words. And I guess Teresi was like trying to outsmart Sam. Like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And then, <laughs> and then Teresi, Teresi <laughs> stabbed Sam like he's trying to poke me with his fart. <laughs> and, and so, snark. So snark, Teresi snark. stabbed. If you don't knock it off. Teresi st- stabs Sam. Tommy's like, "What the hell's going and on?" And when you see Tommy grab him, Tommy grab him like this. No, but but, you, but Sam, Tommy, ah, Sam, wait, wait. Yeah. So he got the knife. He stabs oh. Sam. Right. And Sam is going for Teresi's neck because he's fighting for his life. And then here come Tommy. This is us every night pulling. fighting for my life. <laughs> and then here come here come Tommy. Pulling Sam back, and then that give Teresi jab, jab, and he get him all up in his gut area, and he gone. Sam's a goner. And so then you he gotta, tells me, go get the plastic bag. Yeah, help help your daddy. Help your daddy get this body up out of here. Come on. You know Connie in the hospital, so come on, help me out. Get, get rid of this mess. Hey, Connie in the hospice. Yeah, she about to die. She about to kick the butt. Poor Connie. Connie was like. Connie need receipts and some tea. She, Connie need. All right, <laughs> not all right, dude. That's me. So <laughs> Connie needs some. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Connie, Connie needs some chemo. If you out there, no, Connie doesn't need chemo. Connie needs those special That's herbs high. and medicines that I saw on Facebook that cure cancer from the University of Alberta that will cure her cancer. And um, shout out to John because John told me about them. And she would eat those herbs and those vegetables. She'd probably be cured. I understand that. So, okay. So that is that scene. Now, Angela then, you know, got... No, demands. Angela demands to know who your CI is to the Asian guy. Who is your who is your confidential informant? I demand to know I'm your boss. He just skipped ahead. So no, I Angela didn't. had... Uh, she gets the Amenis sister, the Alicia... She winds up, uh, Dre snitches, tells her that they're, he's meeting up, Crystal Dre Ball snitches. and uh, um, the sister, the Amanda's sister, what's her name? Angelica? What's her name? Ain't, whatever her name is. The sister that's over the Mendez. Uh, Sandoval's freaky little mama. Not Sandoval. Not Sandoval. Uh, Mendez. No, I know, but what's the guy's name? Crystal Ball. Uh, Crystal Ball's freaky little mama. But, okay, she so. She said, oh, Crystal Ball. So they they meet up, but it's not for a drug exchange. They was meeting to hook up, to have freak, some, get they you know, freak some, on, some sexy time, do some coke. And so Dre told sexy them, time. Dre told them <laughs> that <laughs> Dre told them told Angela that <laughs> they where they were meeting, what was going to happen. And so Angela busts up in there with a gazillion agents, and they sprawled across the bed about to get it in. And she walked around like, I got you, bitch. I got you, bitch. But here's so, my, can I ask a question? So they're about to have freaky, sexy time. Who called her before the cop busted in? I think it was her people to say they were coming. The, the said, one guy. That right, one guy. Right. And she says, motherfucker. Remember that? Yeah, she did. Yeah, because she knew they were coming. She said, I got to take this call. And when she took the call, they told her, like, they on their way up there. Oh. And then she go, mother effort. So then... 
Um, Angela all happy. And remember, every time Angela wins something, it gets taken away from her immediately. So and you find that out later on. I don't know why. I'm getting to it. So I, I don't know why Angela likes to celebrate her little wins because after that, she it's always followed behind it. an L. So, okay. So she captures that one. They're like applauding her back to the office, celebrating. But all just the time. normal people. These are the extras. Right. These ain't the main people. So Angela, you're so smart. So then um, what's the dude's name that was trying to get Proctor to wear the wire? The white guy or the Asian guy? The Asian and the white guy. So that tag team, they're like in the cut. I and Angela like, whatever, girl. But they set her up good, though. Right. So then she... um. And the black lady, like from Law and Order, remember her with the afro? No, How, for some reason she goes into his office. And remember, she and takes, she gets the picture. Yeah, so she takes pictures of of the um of Crystal Ball with the feds. Not Crystal Ball with Teresi. Not, oh, Teresi, my bad. They all there you go. I'm they all on track. A lot. I'm right here. You oh, try you to can't. keep me on track. You can't say that. They don't all be. What all snitches? They all look oh, alike. Okay. Yeah, I ain't saying nobody color. Snitches all look alike. Snitches wind up in ditches, Mr. Brando. So, okay. So, she goes into the, the guy's office, and she opens the envelope, and she sees pictures of Teresi with the feds. So, then she takes pictures of it with her phone, and then she puts it back and tries to act brand new, like she ain't done nothing and then she called the asian detective in and she's like i demand to know tell me who you're informing i'm your boss yeah there you go good acting good acting mr brando mr brando Mar the black marlon brando you mr brando so if it was dog fat it'd make all the difference he said oh it's teresi it's oh so he, he he said oh yeah that's our informant and the crazy thing is he give him up so easily you like that was too damn easy. Like you just He didn't fight for that at all. Like no. I'm not telling you. Right. He didn't tell her all up until today. And he's like, eh, fuck you. I mean, so then you know what Angela about to do. She meet up with Ghost. Oh Ghost. Oh Ghost. She showed him the pictures. I gotta tell you something, Ghost. So she took pictures and then she had them reproduced just that quick. I mean, like, one hour phone, phone like a right? motherfucker. Like, she must have went to Kinko's on the way over. I the mean, truck. for real though. She had to. She I mean, those were digital. Like, she was like. I do that. I, I got Kinko's on speed dial. Like, all I got to do is send them the file, and they'll print it out for me. I just go by and pick it up, and I keep it I had to do that one day. I'll it's, be like, it, it's right up the street right over here. UPS store. They're doing too. I don't have much So, time. anyway, <laughs> she got them, honey. She got them in under 30 seconds or less, because she was up there in ghost face. Like, ghost, we got to do something. We about to have our asses in jail. We got to do something. Here go the receipts, ghost. Here go the receipts. You better handle it. Well, Tommy ain't, and Ghost like Tommy ain't trying to talk to me right now, so I'm, I'm gonna figure something. But out. Ghost smart as hell. Go. Let me tell you like this. But you Ghost, know, everybody always thinking on that show. You know that? Okay, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's think about it. Because they, they always, are a criminal damn enterprise. Remember, Dre sat back in the cut. He was like, "Oh, hmm, Crystal Ball. This got, could work for Chris, us. Crystal Ball got to promote it, and Crystal Ball come to. Oh man, man, I'm not trying to take it on. Oh, no. And the whole time, Dre was sitting like, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So you go, and she wanted to give you some what? Yes, memory mm -hmm. No, how? He I like, thought Dre said, was getting that. No, I did. No, uh -uh. Dre wanted that. Uh -uh, she, he didn't want that. He wanted. Mm -mm. Dre is gay. He didn't want that though, because remember, even the uh, the Mendez brother tried to get him to sleep with that black girl, and he didn't want really want it. He did. Well, he just he pumped two loads in her because he like was like uh, 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 in the bathroom. He's like uh. because he was forced to. You don't remember he forced him to. But I don't care what man forces me to put my naked penis in a woman. I don't care if he's a super hot. I'm not going to hit a chick that I just, my homeboy, well, my drug friend homeboy just pumped two loads in her. That's not going to happen. Ever. I mean, I hear But you. I'm a germaphobe, so. Right. So, okay. So, That's Angela gross. tells Ghost. Then Ghost decides to meet up with Vincent. And he's like, look, man, I know you don't like me, but we we got a problem here. We got to figure this out. A mutual out. problem. Right, a mutual problem. And he's like, well, Tommy's your homeboy. And I said, yeah. And he's connected to your family. So what you going to do? He slides him the pictures that here you go. Okay, can I back up, though? Mm -hmm. But Ghost played Vincent. Of course. 
Vincent's stupid. But Vincent always think he's smart. Well, most people think they're smart when they're stupid. Mm -hmm. They didn't have nothing on Vincent. Yet. But it's not about Vincent. It's about the family. He's trying to protect the family. I get it. But Vincent's thinking, okay, well, if it had been me, like, well, let's investigate this for a few minutes. Like, blah, blah, blah. It's like two or three frames later. Vincent's sitting down with Tommy. And they're on this whole face-to-face. And Tommy and Vincent ain't cool. Well... I mean, for real, thing. though. You're in an Italian organization. A man been in jail for 25 years and gets out. That don't seem fishy to you? It didn't seem fishy to him. So to? To Vincent. I think it did. And that's why he was so willing to take that information to Tommy. He said, Tommy, look, if you don't kill him, you're going to wind up in jail. Remember or dead. Said or, no, he said, either way, you're dead. dead. Either way, you're dead. Because he said, you're going to go to jail. Or we're going to kill you. Yeah. Okay. So now, Teresi is sitting there. Well, no, not Teresa sitting there. No, I know. So, so Ghost is sitting there. He's talking to Vincent. And he it, gives him the photos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He leaves. Right. Then Tommy comes in, and Tommy is like, you can't tell me nothing about my dad. That's my father. He said, my daddy. Okay. So George then, Bush, then my daddy. That's when Vincent slide him the photos, and he see what his, he's like, you going to believe me or your lying eyes? Mm, why are you looking at me with your lying going to believe me or your lying eyes? I can ask you the same question. So anyway, so he's like, hey, you're going to have to handle this. Hold on, hold on. But remember he said you got to handle it. Tommy was shook. Of course. This is the second L Tommy had to take. Man. The second person he has loved in the span of like two or three years. So he loved Holly. Holly hurt him. R.I.P. Holly. Ain't no R.I.P. to that heifer. R.I.P. Holly. She hurt him. Hurt him to the core. And, uh, and unfortunately, it was it, who was behind all that ghost. He had to kill her to save ghost because she was out there snitching. And here you go with another snitch, your daddy. Working with the fan. That you also love, oh so much, turned against your mama for. And now you got to do the same thing again. Now you got to kill your daddy. Kill your broad and kill your daddy. And, and I'm telling you, Tommy... Don't love on Tommy because you're going to wind up dead. Keisha, you're going to wind up dead, girl. Stop loving Tommy. Hold on. And we were talking about foreshadowing during the whole thing. And, she, and Well, I'm not going to say all that, but we were talking about foreshadowing the whole thing. And so as he's going up into his mama's room and Keisha calls, the baby yells out, Keisha, don't love on him. Don't love on Tommy because you're going to Keisha. But she, yo, she did like this. But Tommy... You know, baby, if you ask me to lie, I'm going to lie because I loved you. Keisha, you dead. You next. You're going to catch an L. I'm so, saying Keisha going to kill okay. Tommy. So, okay. We end the scene with Vincent and Tommy. Tommy is hurt to his sure. core. I sure. always feel sorry for Tommy when he get hurt like this because, you know, I don't want you to go back to drugs, Tommy. Don't do that. And then he just turns super dark. You can see the pain in his face. He's not good at acting or hiding emotion, just like me. You know, and I can't, I'm mad or I'm upset. We're and not so, going there tonight. We're not going but there But wait all. a minute, wait a minute. So <laughs> Somebody's just like Tommy when they get mad. Yeah, I am. And let me tell you why. Because, so Tommy is in the car with Teresi, his daddy, right? And they on their way to go visit Connie in the hospital, in hospice. And so, Teresi said, Hey, son, you all right? You're not saying much. You're quiet. You're quiet. He said exactly what I was saying. I'm okay. And the crazy thing is, you can see the pain in Tommy's face. You can he see. Was shook. He was shook. He was so hurt. Oh, I just wanted to hug Tommy. Bless his heart. He, he jealous of Tommy. But the conversation in that car, no, Teresi knew that it, it was a wrap for him. Teresi knew that no, he was about to No, what did I tell you about foreshadowing? When he looked up, remember he turned around to go look at Tommy's room. I mean, not Tommy. To go look at uh, Connie's room before the minute, hospital. Wait a minute. We ain't, we still in Tommy's car. No, before he got in the car, he looked back at no, Connie's... No, no, we're not at the hospital. We're not at the hospital yet. Wait, baby, back up, back up, back up. Wait a minute. Well, he can't be riding... No, looking. no, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait. he's about to ride over. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He can't be told, y'all. So, basically... He asked Tommy if he's okay, and he said, I'm okay. 
And he said, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a take you to see Connie. Because basically, Teresi knew it was a rap. It was curtains. You singing with the pigeons. No, he was yes, pleading. He, did. he was no, pleading. He was pleading, but he knew. He wasn't sure if Tommy was going to do it. Remember, he right. thought Tommy was taking him you know, to, you the, to the family. You know, you know, right. So he thought, he was like, because Tommy kept saying, tell me how you got out of jail. Tell me this. Tell me this, that, and the third. That's his favorite line. Tell me this, that, and the third. I'd be like, what are you saying? So... He asked, he started questioning his dad. You've been snitching since now. Teresi was like, oh, I'm about to, I'm about to meet my maker. Well, can I make you and, laugh, and, though? But wait, we, wait, let me finish, please, before you make us laugh. So then he's like, well, damn. So he's thinking, Teresi thinking in his mind, you're going to take me to the family. You're going to take me to Vince. You're going to let them deal with me, handle me. And he's still like, son, let me tell you something. He's like, you can't tell me nothing no more. He said, you know, I believe in you. But you know what? I'm going to take you over here to see Connie so you can say your goodbyes because your ass is about to be swimming with the fishes. But he didn't say that, though. He didn't he say He said, I'm not going to hurt you. I'm going to take you home. They hadn't got to that part yet. But but my whole point to it was Tommy so tried to invoke some, some element of just tell Teresa he was going to kill him. We thought he was going to kill him well, watching the show. Because so, we knew what was up. Teresi went in to see Connie. He said his goodbyes in a roundabout way because Connie is in hospice, right? Terminal ill. So she is like, RIP, she about to check out of here. Yeah, she's soon. gone. She's out so of there. So he sat with her for a minute. Tommy got the car running outside. He waiting. He said, I'll be right here waiting for you. And so when Teresi leaves, Connie's room. Mm -hmm. He's walking down that hall, hall, and that's when you say foreshadowing, because he turns around and he look at the exit sign. Now, in my little pea brain of mine, my pea head brain of mine, I'm thinking, oh, he gonna go the back way. He gonna try to ditch Tommy. Nah, he went straight through the front door. I mean, I don't know why they showed the exit sign. I guess because he about to check him out of this bitch. But that's foreshadowing. That's what it means. It's an I exit. You. I get you. But here's my question. It could have played if two they, different ways, but yeah. Well, it, no, total. That's foreshadowing. You don't know. Mm -hmm. But here's the cool thing that I thought about the foreshadowing part was, what happens to Connie? Connie like this? Did. No, no, Connie may not die. Think about it. What if Connie comes back? That's not Connie. Happening. Like doesn't like recover, but Connie lures Tommy in there. Connie not coming and back. shoots Tommy. You know what hospice is, right? Yeah, but I know people that survived hospice. I, I know people that survived hospice and went back to general care. Okay. I'm just saying that could happen. She could be at like the Cancer that's Institute strange. of America. And, no, that's it's like, not. That's like, it's a story. Anything can happen. Well, that means Kane is coming back. Kanan came back once. Don't say that. That's what I'm saying. I'm just saying. You know, if, but if, the if, reason why Kanan can't come back because it was sprawled out on the dead. He was on the deadpan in the morgue. It had he could have been, been working with the feds. See, the, the thing after is. After the fact, after the here's photos. The thing, but you can paint somebody to look that way. He looked dead. Right, but that's just paint because the real 50 is not dead. But my point is, when you do that, you jump okay, the shark. I'm not talking about 50. I'm talking about Kanan. Kanan's dead. But Kanan is, is played by who? He's played with an actor. Right. So they had to paint his face to look that way. So my point is, oh my God. then what happens is you wind up jumping the shark and you lose the integrity of the show if you keep bringing people back. Well, yeah. Him. If he came back one more time, I'd be like done with the right. show. And and that and some people are actually saying when I read online that they're done with power just because they killed off King. They're not happy about that. And I mean, hey, to each their own. But okay, can I say what I'm done with power it, then? If they kill Tariq, I can. If you kill Tariq, kill I'm Dre. Done. I'm cool. I'm cheerleading. I will break nope. out some pom poms. No, because Tariq is the ghost times two. Tariq is like ghost to the second power. Tariq is gonna be the biggest drug dealer in North America. Fuck New York. Fuck. Everything, Tariq is going to be the man. I'm with that. Tariq is ruthless. I'm down with Tariq from this day forward. Me and Tariq is homeboys. For real. Tariq, so, shout out every time I see you, Tariq. Taco Bell from my homeboy. Save me a taco. Eat that. It's your dog. So, so then, Teresi gets back into Tommy's car. And Ooh. he says, I'm going to take you home. Was that and an awkward said, ride or what? It was a very awkward ride. If and that then, was Lyft, I wouldn't have paid. And then he said, thank you, son. Thank you. Because he thinking he about to make it. Right? He, about he to. was. But there's still a shadow of doubt in him. So they get to his house, Teresi's house. Yep. Of course, Teresi leads the way. Tommy right behind him. Close the door. Make sure he's safe and warm. 
Teresi goes in the cabinet and pulls out a duffel bag. Full and of got money cash and drugs. And um, a gun. It looked like a, it I didn't looked, see it, any drugs. I just saw money. Well, you couldn't have a drug. And I saw a gun. It, and Teresi sits there and stares at the gun for a minute. So you kind of think, okay, it may be a shootout. We might just see some bustle bustle happen, right? Okay, can I say something real quick? First of all, I didn't think it was going to be a shootout because the gun was too pretty. How the hell do you pull out like a Ruger? Nine milli chrome plated, beautiful gun. Like the gun belonged in a damn box in like an old guy's library. Where the hell did you get that gun? It wasn't no grimy. Tommy's gun was like black with like tape on the handle. Tommy's gun looked like it'd been like in 20 gun battles. Teresa's so gun looked it, like it'd been like in like if a it's museum. Your, if it's your life or a pretty gun, which one are you choosing? I'm choosing Tommy's gun. No, no, that wasn't your option. If it's a pretty gun or your life, which one are you choosing? Well, Teresi told you obviously what his choice was. He I know. Didn't I'm asking, me personally? I'm asking you. Okay. You got somebody that may possibly kill you. Okay. Your options are to use that pretty gun or your life is over. Which one are you choosing? Well, I mean, that's, I mean those aren't your only choices. But Teresi was faced with the same choice and what do you do? But that's what I'm asking. But you. that's my point. Why do you have this pretty gun that's not functional or... Maybe it's like Viagra. You don't. It don't work. I don't know. But you have this pretty chrome gun. All I'm saying is, if some, if, if I'm looking at death behind me, I'm gonna use that pretty gun as best as possible, and I'm busting. Even if I'm busting around Scared you, I'm guns. still no. So anyway, as I was saying, so he's staring at the gun, contemplating using it, like for like 45 and then, seconds, and then he winds up zipping the bag up. And and then turns around and he's facing Tommy who's like this. Well, not yet. Remember, Tommy and we're still talking. And Tommy says, and Tommy says, well, remember, and something he said, I'm already saying, he says, he pulls the strap and Teresi, in all of my wonderment, does like the whole Jesus pose where he's like, what was that about? Tommy taps him once, pow. Then he double taps him twice, pow, pow. And then I'm like, dude, where was the pretty gun? Because he zipped it back up in the bag. So basically, was it suicide? Well, it was on a his, way. It was his son, so I don't think he wanted to even hurt his son. And I think he's contemplating at that okay. time. Okay, so your daughter is gonna shoot you, and you have a gun. Are you gonna shoot you? I can't say because I don't have a daughter. Daisy, you have a dog. Oh, I shoot that dog dead. Oh, you're a mother. Pow, 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 pow. Daisy, no! Pow, pow. I love you, Daisy. Pow, pow. Bang, bang, bang. I would have to be dead and gone so, for 100 years for that ever to happen. So basically, I love that dog. you see Teresi's body. You're cold. Cross up. Uh, <laughs> I can't stand him. Hush. Okay, so Teresi's body is on a tombstone. He's taking his... No, he drug him. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Babe, remember all the blood against the wall? Remember that blood? There was a lot of blood on that wall. How did Tommy get that in his car to that tombstone with no blood everywhere? So, Teresi's body is on the tombstone, right? And that's how that ends. Tommy seeks refuge in his mother. So, he now goes back to Kate Egan. And he goes, because he has the key to the house. He walks in the house. And she and thinks it's somebody. Ass. She thinks it's somebody trying to break uh, in, uh, 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 and she grabs her back. Her back. Yeah. And then she Tommy. sees that it's Tommy, and she's like, "Oh, oh, son. boobs all out." And she's so, like looking like the whore of Montezuma. Tommy, Tommy is in so much pain. He just lays across his mom and kind of cries, and you just feel so sorry for him because everybody Tommy has even tried to love in his life his has mama crossed too. him. Some kind of way, and his mama is much like Holly. She just lets her make it. But even in the end, his mom said, "I told you about him. I tried to warn you." And he says, "You don't have to worry about it anymore because I killed him." And she's like, "Yeah, it's okay. It's about time." Okay. She said, "It's about time. Yeah. You you did the right thing." I just feel so sorry for Tommy. I, I don't want to hug Tommy. Tommy. I'm not hugging Tommy because if you love Tommy, Tommy you're gonna die. And then me and Daisy going to run off in the sunset. Pow, 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 the Daisy. Me and pow, Daisy. Pow, pow, pow. Uh -uh, we're going to have our own channel. I'm going to go out like Kanan. Pow, 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 pow. And me and Daisy going to be like, pow. I know. Me and Daisy going to be here like, <laughs> watching Power. Oh, Lord Jesus. Help but, me. but synopsis, Power was great. It was great. Dinner was good. Yeah, it 
taco snail bell shit mix. I normally go out with a video tonight, but I'm so tired. I don't know. Play about. play the theme song to uh, Power Night. The oh, Big Rich Town, boy! Every time I hear that, come on. Shout out to uh, everybody that's been out there supporting the channel. Uh, look for us on Instagram. Look for us on Facebook. Look for us in a city near you. Look for us. Where are you going? What city are you going to be near? Man, I'm going to be in Chicago. and like I'm not going to be in like Montego Bay or nothing like that. Uh-huh. I don't do shit like that. I mean, shit like that. I don't do stuff like that. You know me? I'm like around the house. Shout out to Daisy. I love Daisy. And Daisy's going to be in video soon if she doesn't bark a lot. And um, we're going to have a whole new scenery. We're going to do a whole new thing. And I just welcome everybody to our like channel because we're doing big things. We're having a lot of fun. I'm trying to drown them out. Get the bell. Like, comment, subscribe. Legal or legal, baby, I never took a straight path to it. Life's full of twists and turns, bumps and bruises. I live, I learn. I'm from that city full of